All right, y'all, I finally did it. I had to search far and wide. I had to drive three hours down to my Willis location, just outside of Houston, all the way down from Dallas, where I'm normally at on a day-to-day -day basis, just to find you a big 38, 39 foot bunkhouse travel trailer, triple slides with washer dryer connections. This is the 2023 Grand Design Reflection 312 BHTS, TS standing for triple slide, BH for bunkhouse has a huge outdoor kitchen, has washer dryer connections, and is gonna be great to live in full time if you're looking to live in a travel trailer full time that has those washer dryer connections. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV-related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV and let's get into the video. All right, y'all, so this is the 2023 Grand Design Reflection 312 BHTS. You'll be able to see the specs and floor plan layout on the screen. Now, I'm gonna try not to run through this too fast with y'all, but I have been down here at our Willis, Texas, um, Holiday World of Willis location for a couple days now. And this is my second day here. I had to drive three hours down to get here, and I have filmed hundreds of hours worth of RV videos since I've been down here in the two days. And my phone, it's been overheating because I'm filming in 100 uh, plus degree heat. So I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as I can without my phone overheating. What I wanna mention real quick before we start, if you have never seen my videos before, I am in a sales position, so I do not get paid to come out and make these videos. I do not get paid to travel down here to make these videos as well. I literally do this on my own time, taking away opportunities for myself to sell an RV to come make these videos for y'all in hopes that someone like you might be watching this video, fall in love with this RV, and then will realize that the person here making the video is in a sales position and can take care of you in purchasing this RV. And hopefully I build up enough trust with you for you to trust me to give you a great experience with that. So no matter where you're located at across the country, if you go to the RV inquiry link down in the description below, um, you'll be able to select our different locations. I am at the Mesquite location, which is just outside of Dallas. If you select that location, that'll drop your contact information into my inbox so I can best help assist you in getting your next RV or scheduling a time to come look at your RV. Now, if you just don't care who you buy your RV from, but you still want me to get credit because you saw my videos of purchasing your RV, then you can use that link down below and select one of our other locations because I do not carry the Grand Design Reflection at my Dallas location. So even if I sell you this RV, you still have to come pick it up from our Houston area stores or our New Mexico stores. So we have our Willis, Katy, in League City stores in Houston, and then we have our Las Cruces store in New Mexico. So, but if you wanna work with me directly and maybe get my advice or anything like that, select the Mesquite location. All right, now, Reflection is gonna be Grand Design's biggest travel trailer. You can see it has a huge profile here, a full one-piece fiberglass front cap. I'm comparing it to the Outback that we've seen quite a few videos of on my page, very close in size to that. The front cap looks even just a little bit bigger on the Reflection, so it is just an absolutely massive travel trailer. 30 pound propane bottles here. Um, you're going to have solid slam latch baggage doors on the outside. Nice big storage space in here. Aluminum framing welded on both sides of all your frame connections. Battery disconnect and an outlet in there as well. Also comes with a 25 foot coil hose. And as we go along this side, you can see you have your awning that is going to cover the slide out there. You have two outdoor speakers and then you have an LED light strip up under there. So whether your awning is in or out, you do get that light shining down into your campsite. I um, was surprised not to see a solid step here on the entry door. However, it does have the legs here that will allow you to turn this into a solid step, which is nice because this is your only entrance into the RV. And this allows you because these steps just fold up into there and they don't fold up into the door. No matter how close you're parked next to something here, you can always get into that door because your steps won't be blocking the entry door with this type of step. So that's new, that's something I've never seen before, having the legs come down off of that step. So that's pretty interesting. A nice big slide out here, it is on the rack and pinion style slide mechanism. And then as we look under here, you are gonna have all of your 
underbelly wrapped and enclosed. All your water tanks and water lines sit above your insulation in here. And they do have heat being fed into that cavity so that they will not freeze whenever you have your furnace running, both your water tanks and your water line. And I can't recall, it may have 12 volt heat pads on this reflection as well, but we'll see if we see that when we go inside. Um, it is equipped with the tire pressure and temperature monitoring system on your tires. And then underneath here, you can see you have the Goodyear Endurance American made tires. Love that it comes with that. And you have the Moride CRE 3000 upgraded suspension system there as well. So two great things underneath there. Then I really love this outdoor kitchen. Um, the reflection is coming with this griddle cooktop here that you have. Love that you have the sink. I think the sink is the most practical thing you can get in an outdoor kitchen so you don't have to run inside to wash your hands or rinse things off, anything like that. Solid metal countertop. Nice storage in here as well. This just slides in right there. And then you're going to have your three cabinet doors to open up. It's all unobstructed all throughout there. So you have all that storage outlet here. And then nice big door there to give you shade underneath it as you can see the awning stops on the other end of that slide out now this is going to have one thing that's going to separate this from like an outback or a cougar model where the outback and cougar both make bunkhouse models that are triple slides that are the same length as this one here but they don't have washer dryer connections yet maybe that'll change for 2023 i have yet to see but surprisingly this reflection does not have auto leveling so you can see the extend and retract for your stabilizers here, these are just stabilizers. So to level this RV left to right, you'll have to put blocks under the tires there. Now that's something on an Outback. Outbacks have a seven point auto leveling system and then the Cougars have a four point auto leveling system. So Outback has the best um, leveling system out of the three. And if you're looking for their bunkhouse version, it is a Outback 340BH. So it just does not have washer dryer hookups yet that I know of. So that's what really separates this reflection here. Um, but under here, you can see that control there. You can see you have a um, Schwintech slide mechanism on your smaller slide outs here. This is going to be a probably a gray tank dump valve there. Um, I don't see an indication for that, but you have one dunk tape or one um, dump tank right there for your water tanks. Let's get up on the roof real quick. Um, you have your backup lights here or not. Sorry, your brake lights. It's missing a backup light um, like the Cougar has a little uh, amber light right there that indicates that you're backing up that the reflection doesn't have. I mean, you have a 300 pound accessory hitch as well. But let's get up on the roof real fast. Uh, the ladder has a 300 pound weight rating on it. You can see you have a nice big solar panel up here. See if we can figure out uh, the size of this solar panel when we go inside, because this definitely is bigger than the 200 watt solar panel on the Outback next to us. This looks like it may be a 300 watt panel. Um, we'll take a look at that though. Two ACs up here. These look like they are the GE ACs and just a nice clean looking roof. Um, fully walkable slide out boxes, fully walkable roof as well as we head back down. We head around this way, you can see you have your two slide outs there. You do have, oh, that's a 370 watt panel. So you have 370 watts of solar on there. That's awesome. That's definitely going to keep up with keeping your batteries charged there for sure. No problem. You have a vent coming out of the uh, microwave area to vent the smells out of the trailer. And then you're going to have all your black and gray tank valves coming to this one spot there as well. Nice light underneath here to illuminate that space if you're doing it in darker conditions. You have a tankless on-demand water heater. So this is something the Keystone Cougar doesn't come with. In the Cougar model, this would be a 34 TSB, um, which stands for triple slide bunk. And this here has the tankless water heater. Cougar has a six gallon gas electric water heater. And the Outback 340BH will have a tankless water heater. So that's something that separates this from the Cougar a little bit in a way. Um, sewer storage hose connection underneath there again another stabilizer and you have all your water connections here you have the nautilus water system same water system you also get in the outback but not on the cougar um, so nice um, refined uh, compact water management system there and then you can see your nice big 50 amp solar charge controller so a huge solar charge controller in here definitely looks like they are trying to give you some massive solar equipment on this reflection Again, really nice looking front cap. You have 30 pound propane bottles, power tongue jack. And unlike the 2023s for Keystone, still not coming with lithium batteries from the factory like the 2023s will be, um, but that is something you can get on this reflection there. Um, and I say like the 2023 Keystones will be, like the 2023 Keystones will be ordering with the two lithium batteries. 
Looks like so far that's not an option for Grand Design to order them from the factory with the lithium batteries. It'd be something you'd have to add on. As we go inside, you'll have your screen door here. Grab handle coming in, and then we'll make a left going into your living space here where you will have a booth dinette. Surprised to see carpet, because that's something you won't have in the Keystone models, both the Outback and the Cougar, but it says this carpet is protected by R2X, which I don't know what R2X stain treatment is, but you do have a carpet here. Um, Looks like you still have exposed wood for your subflooring. They paint it black to make it look like it's not just bare wood there, but it is exposed wood, which on a Keystone Cougar Outback, the flooring here is wrapped underneath there. So just a little slight difference, not a big deal though, but if you definitely don't want carpet in your RV, unfortunately, this just may not be the RV for you, which is totally fine. There are options out there like the Cougar Outback that won't have that, but I do like, it's a really cool design on the dinette table there, kind of have a little bit of detail added into that. You can take the legs out here that will allow this to sit down and make into a bed. And then you have outlets underneath there as well. Lift this up and you will have storage underneath the bed so you can move that cushion and you can move that cushion and you'll have a nice thick um, sub base there underneath there for all your storage. So that's your dinette table setup. Again, that makes into a bed that's about six feet long. And then you have your two recliners. It's the Thomas Paine recliners directly across from the TV. Now, when you're sitting in the right recliner, you do have the island in front of you, which is kind of the price you pay when you're trying to get a bunkhouse with, you know, kind of more amenities like a washer dryer. But you can still easily see the TV from here. It wouldn't bother me too much at all. I know some people are more picky than me though in a lot of ways, so that always comes down to your own personal preference. But nice, comfortable, big, comfy recliners. Flip that up. Can't see it does lay all the way flat as well. And they will have heat and massage on them, plus they both have lights there too that I did not turn on. So you have those lights underneath. And then I love that you have this kind of coffee bar, coffee station area as well. Something that can be used for a lot of different purposes. Um, you see you have your lights up above, storage here, definitely some nice added storage space and countertop space in the kitchen. Looks like this is a faux tile backsplash, which is pretty common in travel trailers where they're definitely much more concerned on weight than maybe like a fifth wheel would be. Outlet here as well, and just a nice little coffee bar area. Going into the kitchen space, you do have a fireplace in here, so that will put out heat. You can see that this area for the slide out does not have any carpet on it. So it has just that little lip right there. Underneath here, you're gonna have your Jensen audio system, um, so an outlet there as well. That'll close up. You have the TCL Roku TV. So this is a smart TV here. Open this up, have your shelving. Lots of storage in this space. Ooh, that definitely looks nice. Lots of storage there really big drawers that you have and then more storage underneath the oven you have the Furion oven it's a little bit bigger oven not the biggest oven you'll see in a travel trailer but one of the bigger ones for sure a three burner stove nice window here that will open up and then you have more storage all unobstructed up above the tv glass doors on that as well now, real quick, while we're at it, looking at the MSRP on this RV, the MSRP is 83196 with all the options on here. It looks like you have a 370 watt solar panel upgrade on this, the 16 cubic foot refrigerator, the Goodyear tires, things like that. Now, that is the MSRP price, that 83196. That is not our sales price. So if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position and I do not get paid to make these videos by my company. I only get paid when somebody buys an RV from me. So my hopes in driving down here three hours today to make videos of these RVs are that somebody like you in the future might see this video and say, hey, you know what, I think this is the RV for me and hopefully I will have helped you in finding that RV through these videos and you'll reach out to me. So if you wanna reach out to me and allow me to help you in purchasing your next RV, there's both a link down below in the description there. 
where you can select the Mesquite location, which is where I'm located at, and your information will pop up directly in my inbox to reach out to you. Or you can text me at the number on the screen there as well. And then in the alternative, if you did want to purchase this from maybe say another salesperson or you just don't care about me and don't care if I get paid on this, um, but want to go work with somebody else, maybe you don't like me, I mean that very well could be the case. Uh, you can go down to that link down below in the description. You can select one of our other locations other than the Mesquite location. Um, our Katy, Willis, League City, and Las Cruces locations all carry Grand Design. So you can um, purchase and pick up a Grand Design trailer from any of those four locations. I don't carry it in my Mesquite location. I can still help you purchase it, but you would have to come down to one of those stores to pick it up. And we are currently at my Holiday World of Willis location where we are looking at this one that we are currently standing in. And if you use that link down below, that just lets them know that you came from seeing my videos and that's documentation for, for them as a dealership to know that, hey, this customer came from seeing Miles' videos online so that I get some sort of credit for the work that I put in to come and make these. So please use that link down below if you are interested in this RV. That's my spiel on that, let's keep going. Love that you have a skylight in here, something you're not gonna get in a Cougar from Keystone. Outback does have that, um, but that gives a lot more natural light in here. And then you have a 16 cubic foot refrigerator. This is going to beat both the Outback and the Cougar having this option here for the 16 cubic foot refrigerator. You have to go up to a Cougar fifth wheel to even have something like this in a Keystone lineup. So really love that you get the bigger refrigerator in here. I know that will make a big difference for a lot of people having that big residential size Furion refrigerator. Finally, you have another countertop space. Looks like you'll have outlets up underneath the cabinetry here. Some more storage space all through here. This is probably, yep, unobstructed all the way through. Glass doors on those as well. And then you have two pull-out drawers here. There's your tire pressure monitoring system. Now, another thing to keep in mind here is you can see those dryer hoses behind there. That is how they run the furnace ducting throughout these reflections, because Grand Design does not do vents in the flooring. So if that's something that's important to you, they run all those um, dryer vents essentially through the RV and you can see them coming out of this space here to run your heat. So through the floor heating where you do have your ducting and your vents in the floor is a bit more efficient because you don't have any twists or turns. It's all just a straight line of ducting. So you get better airflow with the in the floor system. But if you really hate having vents in the floor, then this is a great option giving you no vents in the floor in this grand design. Finally, Solid surface countertops. Open this up, you have a single uh, farm sink there, stainless steel sink, and stainless steel faucet as well. Now that's everything in this space. Let's hop over into the bunk room where first of all, love that you have a huge oversized bunk here. This is a wider bunk bed. It's gonna be about six feet long. So if you're over six feet, you'll have to bend your legs a little bit or sleep diagonal, but it's a nice big space. Have a window there have an outlet up on the roof, and then you have a back window and a window on this wall as well. So lots of windows. You have all your storage space here to the left, and then you have your pull-out sofa here to the right. So this bed will actually lift up. You can lift up this bed there, it is strut assisted. Now sitting under this with the struts on there, being 6'2", I can't fully sit back in the couch because my head will start to hit somewhere right about here. However, if you remove this strut, this bed can go up a little bit further or you could take this bed out completely. So a couple different options. Then this is a pull-out sofa. So this will be a trifold sofa making into a full-size bed here. It'll come out to about right here and give you a full-size, nice, comfortable bed to sleep on as well if you pull that out into a bed. A lot of people also ask if you can remove this sofa, which you absolutely can if you wanted to take that out. So nice big bunk room space here. You do have a door going to the bunk room for your privacy as well big storage in here as you have through there you have a closing rod spot for a tv a couple pull out drawers for having an outdoor kitchen behind here i mean this is a big storage space so they kind of sacrifice your floor space in here for some bigger storage shelving space in drawers but you don't really feel it in here it still feels like it's plenty big enough so really nice space and remember this pulls out to a full-size bed as well and you have an outlet down there now, a Wi-Fi router would be installed in this room here. So if you wanted to install a Wi-Fi router, it would go right there in the ceiling. And then let's head out this way. Um, just a really big feeling travel trailer in general as we walk through this thing. 
Um, let's look at the windows real quick because you do have pull down blackout shades. Want to make sure you see those. So pull down blackout shades. They also give you these little handles here to more easily see where that shade is at without having to reach up there and find it. And then remember you have a tankless water heater in here. So that's going to allow you to take, you know, as long of a hot shower as you want. You have slide out controls, a little coat hook when you walk in, door that comes across to the bathroom so it's uh, not in the way of anything. And then you have your sink and your storage all tucked off to the side here. Porcelain toilet. And then more storage on this side as well. Nice big storage. Motion activated light so you can actually just leave that on and it will turn on and off as you go in and out of here. And then you have towel rod there. Um, this shower, now your washer dryer connections are actually going to be behind this wall, so it will be a little bit smaller shower because of that. Sacrifices you have to make if you want something like a washer dryer in a travel trailer. You're going to have to have a bit of a smaller shower. However, I'm about 6'2", 185 pounds, and standing in here, I have at least four more inches to the ceiling, maybe five. It's about a six foot five inch ceiling in here and you have another three inches or so in the skylight. So you could be about six, seven and comfortably get in this shower and stepping forward, this fully sits above my head. So I do not even have to duck to get under this being six, two, and you have an on off switch there. So you don't have to turn these handles every time to turn the water off. You can keep the same temperature of your water and just turn it off right here. So love that. And then this here, oh, this is uh, this is pretty cool too. I actually didn't know about this last time, but this is a clothing rod that comes across to here. So you can hang clothes from there as well. So nice little touch and you have this netting here plus all your shelving for different soaps. So plenty sizable shower. I mean, I could literally be three inches taller and still be just as comfortable in that shower there. Absolutely love that. Got some shelving below the medicine cabinet. Nice big medicine cabinet goes all the way up to the ceiling. Nice big plastic sink. This is one of the bigger plastic sinks I've seen in a bathroom in a travel trailer. Deep drawers and storage underneath there plus you have your outlet and a towel rack or a towel ring it's a really nice looking bathroom then going to the bedroom again good looking bedroom as well now one critique i have for grand design i'm not a big fan of their interior designs to be honest it feels very traditional very brown on the tones if you don't like this color scheme really both cougar and outback have different color schemes from this where the cougar is going to have more like uh, they have white cabinetry in the in the um, kitchen area and then it's more of like a lighter brown color back here in the bedroom and then the outback actually has black and tan woodwork so very um, bold color choices from outback if you're looking for something different and as far as color schemes go but that being said we're going to jump right to the most exciting thing back here first because that is back in this area you have washer dryer connections now this would be a huge wardrobe storage if you don't want to use it for washer dryer but you can see the washer dryer connections here and it does have a dryer vent so that means you should be able to put a washer and dryer unit back here you also have two pull out drawers now i'm guessing these will go if you put the washer dryer in here i'm assuming the washer dryer will have to use this whole space i'm not 100 percent sure because i haven't seen it set up yet but the fact that you can get a washer dryer in here, definitely a big deal for a lot of people. And it's a washer and dryer, not just a washer dryer combo unit. So that is amazing. You also have pull down blackout shades in the bedroom. You have a TV backer right here. So you can put a pretty big size TV there. That looks like that'll fit at least a 32 inch screen TV, which not all bedrooms can do. You have your second AC in the bedroom here as well. Ducting coming in here from the other AC also. They're ducted together, both ACs. And then you have a queen size bed here. It is a nice looking bed setup um, because this reflection is so huge. The ceiling height in here literally is like 6'6 six, six or 6'7. Six, um, it's probably about 6'7. It's absolutely massive in here. It might be even taller. It's possible it could be 6'8 or 6'9. It's really hard for me to judge exactly, but it is a super tall travel trailer. You have more wardrobe storage next to the bed. All this storage up here that's all unobstructed, and these will stay up on their own. You have three different ones that open up there. Outlets and USB ports. It also has a USB type C plug there too on the top. So that's a nice touch and some shelving space there in the bedroom. Finally, lift up the bed. You do have strut assisted storage underneath here that's all framed out as well. And on the mattress, it looks like you have an upgraded 
This might be a Serta mattress, but definitely an upgraded mattress, not the standard mattress you would get on like an entry level travel trailer. So upgraded mattress there as well. And then you have a sliding pocket door to the bedroom, have an outlet down underneath there as well. And that is just about everything here on this Grand Design Reflection 312 BHTS. Again, this is a 2023 model. And if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind, again, if you missed the previous parts in the video, I am in a sales position. So I would love to personally help in assisting you in making this RV yours. Now we are at the Holiday World of Willis location. I drove down here all the way to Willis, Texas, about three hours away from my Mesquite, Texas location just outside of Dallas just to make these videos for y'all, taking time away from my opportunities to sell somebody an RV the last couple days, just to make these videos for y'all in hopes that someone like you might see this video and fall in love with this RV and trust me enough to come buy your RV for me. So if that is the case, there's a link down below in the description where you can go fill out your information so that it will come directly into my inbox if you pick the Mesquite location. Or if you don't mind what salesperson you work with, you can pick one of our other locations, whether it be Willis, Katy, Las Cruces, uh, or League City that all carry this Grand Design Reflection model. You can select one of their locations. Another salesperson will get your information there, but that will let them know that you came from seeing one of my YouTube videos and gives me some sort of documentation that you came from seeing my YouTube videos. So I still get some sort of credit if you do decide this is the RV you want. So that's all I got for y'all. Would love to help you out. And until next time, I'll see you out camping.